third speaker this evening is going to be giving us a speech titled The ICL Manual. No, that's not a typo or an Apple, a new Apple product. From an advanced communication manual, the third speaker of the evening, Aaron Kelton. North Carolina State University started the first graduate program in analytics. Data management, data collection is going to be very big in the future. It's already here. And so my question for us is, when was our last snapshot taken? And by snapshot, I mean, where does each person stand as far as what they've done? Have you recorded in your CO manual every single role that you've done? Have you requested an evaluation? What we're going to do in a little bit is I'd like to find out where we all stand with respect to the CO manual. And then, as the member of IBM said, we want to make sense of what we learn as fast as we learn it and record measurements at every instance. So smart Toastmasters, that's what we are. What should we measure? Communication projects are pretty easy. Right? As Sujay makes the agenda, he looks at who's spoken, who needs to speak, and he just signs you up and puts you on the agenda. However, leadership projects, and in particular the CL manual, is a little bit harder to manage because it entails creating the agenda every month or however often we create it. I actually lost my first CL manual, and with it, a lot of the projects that I had already completed. But at a bare minimum, it entails 21 roles and two non-role projects to complete it. And so if there's 52 weeks in a year, five per semester that we may miss from holidays and bad weather, you could actually complete two of these per year if you wanted to. So there's no reason that all of you should be able to complete a CEO manual, even though for distinguished club status, I think we only need one or two. Okay. Uh, what we'll be able to do by knowing where we all stand is we'll be able to forecast to what degree we can complete uh, an accomplished distinguished club status. When we build an agenda, you can often ask Sujay or, or Will or myself, whoever's helping build the agenda, uh, that you want to speak in, in the next coming weeks or you want to perform a particular role. And we can fit you in. Otherwise, we, we approach it in a more authoritarian manner where we look at what everybody needs and we uh, categorize it and optimally schedule it. And there's benefits to that that I'll get into later. So my argument right now is that the CO manual, the way it is brought to us from Toastmasters International, is not optimal. So here's a new format. The ideal situation is that everyone brings their CO manual, and that if you're performing a role, that you show up, you bring your manual, and then you record it and convey that information to the VP Education. But this is reality. People often forget to bring their manual. Or, the boss call, you got to stay late. Sorry, I can't make it to Toastmasters. But let's accentuate the positive and focus on what we've got. Okay? However, there are further complications. What if the 
seal qualifying role has already been filled. You ever been a tyrant before, Paul? Yes. See, if he's been a tyrant before, the tyrant role only shows up once in the, in the competent leadership project. And so that's a, an inefficiency according to measurement standards. Okay, so that's one thing that can pop up. For someone like Roger, who's usually here, this is Roger's son, <laughs> he might not be working on a CO manual. So if he's uh, tasked with all counter of grammarian, that's not going to count towards distinguished quote status either. All right, we'll settle for two right now. But they have to record what they've accomplished, and they also have to communicate it to VP Education, Mr. Sujay Grubb. So the question becomes, how do we take everything that we started with and account for it in an efficient and effective manner? The answer is to bring it into one central location. Basically, I want to take the CO manual out of your hands and put it into one person's hands be the education. And there's, there's some benefits to do that. You actually don't lose anything. If anything, you gain. And there's several benefits. One is that there's you're only scheduling the necessary members by putting it into uh, one system, such as an Excel spreadsheet, and doing some optimization analysis on that. We can schedule only necessary members so that it would red flag, say, Paul's already done it, let's put him somewhere else and move somebody into the timer role that, that actually needs that. And there's no no more duplication. That looks silly when there's a, a typo or a, a duplicate word, but when you're in a speaking and leadership organization, with an emphasis on excellence in those two categories, it looks even sillier when it happens. And finally, if you forget your manual, it doesn't matter because we'll know exactly what you're uh, working on. And so re replace this forgetful members with an intelligent system. There's transparency of project completion. It knows when you complete a particular task, whether you bring your manual or not. And VP Education will all automatically know as soon as the meeting's over. And it resides downstream in one central location. By downstream, I mean it resides in the VP Education's hands or one of the officers who will submit your uh, completion to the Toastmasters International website. And this is just, it, it's not a complete working final project just yet. It's still a work in process. But through a, a clever iteration over the past weekend, Sujay and Will and I, we were able to work out and get six more individuals uh, accomplished in a particular role for their CO manual. And so out of 6 out of 40, that's at least a 7% improvement. And over time, that will make a huge difference. Thank you very much.